Hi guys, this is a short video tutorial showing you how to use the snipping tool or the snip and sketch tool on your PC. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can take a, a snip of uh, maybe a picture or a word problem in this case and then use it to paste it or to save it to your um, computer. So I want to snip this problem here and I'm going to use that and drop that into uh, Google Docs so that I can uh, answer it. So I'm going to use the snipping tool first of all. This is the slightly older tool. Um, if you type snipping into your search bar, you'll find the snipping tool there. Uh, you might, if you've got updated recently, find that um, it's changed over to snip and sketch. I'll show you how to use that in a moment. So all you do with this, once it opens up, is uh, there are various modes on here. You can choose a freeform snip so you can draw your own outline around things. So that's quite useful if you've got something with uh, an uneven outline. Um, there's a whole window snip, so you can snip whatever's in your active window, or a full screen if you want to do a screenshot. Uh, the one I use most regularly is the rectangular snip, so it just lets you draw a box around something. Okay, and um, click on New, and then just drag your box around what you want to snip. There we go, it pops it into the tool there. You can use tools like a little pen or a highlighter to add things to it if you wish. And when you're done, click copy and then pop that into wherever you want to, to paste it. So you can paste it into a Google Doc, for example, and then answer the question. Oops, let's get that spelling correct. There we go, so I can work out my answer and pop that in there and then go on and maybe post my next question. Uh, if I, I'll show you how to do the same thing with the new snip and sketch tool. So I'll just close that one down and if we go back to um, do that document there and again I'm going to type, just type snip and the snip and sketch app this time opens up since it's a slightly bigger window, but it works pretty much the same way. Again, you can choose how you want to snip. Um, you've got options at the top here, freeform, window, full screen, or the rectangular snip. Uh, I'm going to choose a different problem this time, so I'm going to pick this one. Again, it will snip it into there, and you've got, again, you've got all these tools that you can play with a lot along the top if you want to add or change things on here, if you want to highlight something, maybe I'm going to highlight um, something in the problem. And then when you're ready, just hit the copy command at the top right over here. You can also save to your desktop and do the same thing with the other tool as well. Uh, copy and go back to your document and I'm going to use Control and V on my keyboard this time to paste. There we go, and there's my problem. So I can work out my answer. That's quite a useful way of just getting little uh, snippets of information. If, you, if you're if you working with a PDF document or some pictures and you want to throw them in here and you're having trouble with um, selecting it and or you can't get the whole thing to go, you don't want the whole thing to go in, you just want a small part of it, then the snipping tool is really handy for doing that. I uh, hope that's helped you and we'll, I'll see you next time. Bye.